Are you ready? You might yes. want to get a little closer so you can oh, yeah, see. Okay. Okay. okay, so here's the masseter in the cheek area, right? Here's the temporalis on the top of the head. Those two are pretty easy. And then remember we have the trapezius. <clears throat> I said they have three of them. So this one all along this whole back of the neck is called clavotrapezius. And then around their shoulder blade, a chromiotrapezius, like the acromion process. And then can you see this little white line right here? That delineates one muscle package from another. And there's another little white line right here. So this little triangle, that's the spinotrapezius. So their trapezius goes all the way from here down to here. And it's all attached like ours, but they call it three different names because they can move them slightly differently. Then this whole broad band underneath here is latissimus dorsi. So they're all in the same um, places as ours. On the arm, I'm only gonna have you know the two. So there's a white line again, and I'm gonna actually separate it so you can see the two muscles. and try not to mangle it too much. So this one then is long head of triceps, and this one is lateral head of triceps. I'll try to delineate those a little bit better so you can see them. Okay, so they have the same two heads of triceps just like we do. Then across the front, you know I said they have those two muscles in the neck. We won't go for the deep one. So the one on top is sternomastoid. Then when you go underneath, it's the clido. And here's their trachea, which is kind of cool. And then they have these two chest straps. So this one that's coming across here is pectoralis major. And you can see this white line and this white line. So when you start learning about muscles, you'll see the striations in muscles. And that's what some of these are. You can actually see that. And then the connective tissue where the two sets of muscles come together. Then this big triangle down here, which I'll try to clean up a little bit, that's pectoralis minor. Pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. They have a biceps brachii, but it's super small because it's not something they use, so I won't bother with that at all. Then this is your external oblique. This is their rectus abdominis, just like ours. And then um, I'll only pick on a couple leg muscles just so that you can kind of see. So. They have this muscle right here, which is gracilis. And then this broad one that's coming down here is sartorius. And then if I come to the back, what I really wanted to show you was tensor fascia latte. So you could kind of see, here's the little part of the muscle. And then here's the fascia, which is the connective tissue. And when I lift up on it, super strong, this whole band of fascia. And that's that tensor fascia latte or the IT band that goes across the top of our leg. Okay, that's good, thank you.